the history of computers. Yes, see, I got a new laptop for my birthday. Isn't it pretty? Yes, it's lovely. You know, Shreya, computers have come a long way from the old abacus to today's laptops. Yes, I have seen a few types of computers and laptops myself, but I do not know how they were invented and what changes they have gone through. Shreya, history of computers is quite interesting. Would you like to know how computers came up? Sure. Tell me, please. In the olden days, people counted on their fingers. They even used stones and bones to keep count. These methods, however, were not efficient for counting large numbers or doing mathematical operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Over the years, several devices were invented that were capable of performing mathematical operations. Come. Let's look at some of the early calculating devices. Oh, I know it is an abacus. You are absolutely right. Abacus is one of the earliest counting devices. It can help us perform basic addition, subtraction, multiplication and division by moving beads back and forth on rods. Another device called the Napier's Bones was used for multiplication and division. Later, in 1642, the first calculating device called the Pascaline or Pascal Calculator was developed by Blaise Pascal. So until now, the calculating devices were manually operated. Wasn't there anyone who tried to make an automatic device? Yes, Charles Babbage designed the difference engine in 1822. It was one of the earliest automatic calculators which was to be powered by steam and was as large as locomotive. Later, in 1837, he proposed the analytical engine. This steam-powered engine outlined the basic elements of today's modern general-purpose computer. I am impressed by how hard this inventors worked to make our lives easy and comfortable. Absolutely! Now let us see the tabulating machine which was invented by Herman Hollery. Hollerith made this machine in 1890 to count the population of the United States. He designed punch cards to hold the data. Wow! In 1946, J. Eckert and J. Macaulay developed a new computer called the ENIAC. The ENIAC was huge and contained several thousand different components. Then came the UNIVAC, Universal Automatic Computer, which was the first commercially available computer. Oh, that was so long back. Computers from then have gone through such transformation. Definitely. In fact, the computers that were developed from 1964 to 1971 were in a way similar to the present day computers. The input was provided through keyboard and output was displayed on the monitor. Then, in 1980s came the computers for the home users. Computers of this age were more powerful, smaller, and today, computers have become extremely compact. What once required a big room to fit can now fit in the palm of your hand. We have come a long way indeed. I wonder what is in store for technology in the future. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.